it's the UEFA Champions League final and the biggest game perhaps in Newcastle's history. I won't say perhaps, absolutely the biggest game in their history. The first time they will be contesting the UEFA Champions League final and they will be taking on the mighty Bavarians FC Bayern Munich of Germany. But before we head into the Champions League final, let's take a look at the leagues around the world. I think we did, didn't we? Um, the final placings. Milan, Juventus in Italy. And in Spain, quickly, we'll take a look here. Real Madrid overcome Barcelona. Yeah, we did look at this. This looks vaguely familiar to me. Um, let's take a look at the Champions League and how we got here. Um, we'll take a look at the group stages. Newcastle United came through a tough group there, but with very little trouble. No defeats. Juventus, Barcelona, Chelsea, Celtic, Bayern Munich. Only considered the one goal. Six wins from six. I think they were the only team to do that in the group stages. Oh, Ajax as well. Um... AC Milan and Leco, my word, that was a tough group there. And then in the knockout rounds, before we get to the final, Dortmund overcoming AC Milan, big spending Milan, fell to Dortmund, Chelsea over PSG, Juventus defeating CSK Moscow, Bayern Munich with an impressive 5-1 win over Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid downing Napoli, 7-1. Barcelona overcame Ajax in extra time, 2-1. Liverpool demolished Celtic 10-4 and Newcastle with the second leg win there 4-1 over Genk. In the quarterfinals, Chelsea ousted Real Madrid, a big surprise there. Newcastle a tough match against Liverpool and making it to the semi-finals there. Barcelona downing Borussia Dortmund champions just two seasons ago. And Munich again demolishing Juventus 5-1. In the semi-finals, Newcastle with the surprise victory over Barcelona, winning 4-1 in the first leg and 2-0 in the second. Harry Kane and Alan Shearer scoring all the goals there. And Bayern Munich once again utterly dominating Chelsea to set up the final of the English champions, Newcastle against German champions Bayern Munich. Munich, of course, going for the treble here. Uh, those of you will remember... They've won the league, they've won the German Cup as well, 10 points clear in the league. And then they won the German Cup final. So a win here will give Bayern Munich the treble. Newcastle, of course, we know, won the FA Cup, lost out in the Premier League. And are looking to face Bayern Munich here. What does I man don't have to say? The purpose for fighting this far into a long season, this Today's match takes us one step closer to winning the UEFA Champions League. No doubt about it. Today we'll be taking the Winners' Cup home with us as champions. Don't leave anything out there. Make today's performance one to remember. Absolutely, coach. Leave nothing in the locker, guys. All your sweat. All your blood. All your money. All your love. All your power. Everything you got. This is your whole life here. And those of you who are Rocky fans will remember that speech from Rocky 4. <laughs> okay, starting lineups today. Ooh, you get a bigger bench here in the Champions League final, which is nice. I uh, just want to see my free kick taker too. Must be Gareth Bale. I like the left-right combination. Starting lineups. Adama Traore, Alan Shearer, Andy Cole, Gareth Bale will all retain their places. Castona will be in support in midfield. Today is not the day to be trying something cute McManaman will start on the bench Marco Verratti Sergio Busquets so an unchanged starting lineup Newcastle have the good fortune of being able to field the regular starting 11 take a look at Bayern Munich Chris Longley the Frenchman will partner Nicolas Soule at the heart of the Bayern defense Franz Beckenbauer playing at right back today David Alaba at left back all in front of Manuel Neuer. Schweinsteiger, Balak and Antonio Rabio will be the midfield three behind Leroy Sané, Robert Lewandowski and Ian Robin Frank Ribéry. On the bench today, Friedrich Mathaus, the younger brother I would say of Lothar Matthäus, Lothar Mathaus, 
on the bench as well. Thomas Muller and Willian. I don't think we're going to see Willian though. So, those are the lineups, guys. Here we go. The UEFA Champions League final and the final match of the season. Newcastle playing in their maiden Champions League final. Can they go one better? This is the only cup not won yet by Diego Maradona. What a story it would be. They played a hard-fought game against Chelsea. Won 3-2 thanks to two goals from Adama Traore. Who will be the hero today? At the Ataturk Olympic Stadium. And that's what it's all about, guys. The UEFA Champions League final trophy. Alan Shearer standing alongside Franz Beckenbauer. And this is going to be an incredible occasion here to see players stepping out onto the pitch. And what a battle it's been for Newcastle. Uh, had surprisingly a lot of trouble against Genk. And then when they were drawn against Liverpool in the quarterfinals, Steve McManaman turned out to be the hero of that round. Scoring three of the four goals. Ryan Robin, Michael Bellek, Rabio, Schweinsteiger, Alaba, Sule, Longley, Manuel Neuer and Franz Beckenbauer. Referee use one, two, three. And Newcastle now. Alan Shearer, Alban Lafont, Martinez Quarta, Simon Kier, Sergio Busquets, Marco Varati, Gareth Bale, Adama Traore, Castona, Harry Kane, and Marcel Desai. Is Castona the first South African to start a UEFA Champions League final? You know, I think he could be. Here we go. Newcastle United. Team photo time. And this one could be a humdinger of a match is Nero Sane and Robert Lewandowski the pre-match chats Alban Lafont boy the move to Newcastle has really panned out for him won the Premier League last season and the FA Cup and again amongst the silverware this season Castona there who's really established himself and a degree of his um, advancement in the side is the fact that they let Paul Gascoigne go mid-season and put their faith in Steve McManaman and Castona to support the front four and my word they've done really well there who will be the hero today David Alaba, Marcel Desai, big money signing Manuel Neuer, Marco Varati as the anticipation builds to fever pitch Alan Shearer to kick off here we go the UEFA Champions League final Newcastle are going to have to play a very smart game here. You can see Bayern Munich's players doing very well to close down the space very quickly. Here's Gareth Bale now will have a run. He's seen some space here. Gareth Bale will take a shot. Emmanuel Neuer there. Shearer trying to pressurize uh, Franz Beckenbauer. No go. Shearer again on Beckenbauer two captains in close proximity there Martinez Quarta will win that for Harry Kane who will find Adama Traore 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 scores can you believe it Adama Traore the man who scored twice in the FA Cup final opens the scoring here for Newcastle again great pass in to catch his run and the angle just sort of opened up for Emmanuel Neuer Covered the wrong angle there and Adama Traore found the right shot at the right time. Scores on the biggest stage of his career here. Martinez Quarta to Harry Kane and look at this pass. And Adama Traore took the shot and Manuel Neuer was beaten. Newcastle United, ladies and gentlemen, might actually do it here. It's very early still and still has some work to do. But how about that? Adama Traore comes good again for Diego Maradona and Newcastle United. Big occasion there and a huge goal in the biggest match of his career. Marco Varati racing back to dispossess Iron Robin and he's going to have to do a solid job there. Here's Antonio Rabiot back to Iron Robin. Robin 
Here's Schweinsteiger to Michael Belak, who finds Robert Lewandowski, who equalizes straight away. My word, did Bayern Munich open them up there as easy as anything. How about that? It's Newcastle 1, Bayern Munich 1, and Marcel Desai is thinking, how on earth did he lose his man there? Oh my goodness me, Bayern Munich just gave Newcastle a bit of a footballing lesson there. Great work and look at the space here for Robert, Robert Lewandowski. They lost him completely in the intricate passing of Bayern Munich. And a great ball in from Michael Balak and look at this. You can't give Robert Lewandowski that amount of space. Albon Lafont got nowhere near it there. Bayern Munich 1, Newcastle 1. Busquets finds Shearer. Finds Bale and Harry Kane. Ooh, unable to reach that one. Sane and Lewandowski now. Dispossessed by Marcel Desai and Harry Kane. Yeah, he'll go down there. And you can see Schweinsteiger just, just getting a talking to from the referee. Came in hard there and then took his man down as well. Harry Kane was on a good run of form leading up to this final. Shearer wins that to no one in particular. It's David Alaba. And he'll clear the lines there. Newcastle United after a good solid start. Um, he's got a bail now. Oh, still got a bail. He might still do something with it. Yeah, got a bail. He's going. Oh, he scores! Gareth Bale, so tremendous strength there against David Alaba. Should have gone down for a penalty, I think. But Gareth Bale backed himself, got into the box, and made no mistake. How about that? Newcastle United back in front here. We could be in for one hell of a match here, guys. Look at Gareth Bale. With the attentions of two men on him, Michael Balak and David Alaba, who knocked his man off the ball. But Bale recovered quick enough with tremendous upper body strength there to get the shot off. And Newcastle United are 2-1 up now. Bayern Munich picked back again. And both wide forwards have scored now. Dama Chayore and Gareth Bale. And boy, he'll enjoy that, won't he? What can Bayern Munich do to in, in the spawns here? It's Newcastle 2, Bayern Munich 1. Robert Lewandowski trying to escape the attentions of Marcel Desai and a great ball out here to Ian Robin and Simon Kier does tremendously well there. We'll find Adama Traore now and Traore will use his pace to run at Bayern Munich. Still going Adama Traore. Takes the shot, Emmanuel Neuer this time equal to it. Tremendous running there, and that must be a scary sight. Oh, Harry Kane will find Gareth Bale again. Bale! Oh, what a hit! And Manuel Neuer there with a tremendous stop. Sergio Busquets did so well there. Harry Kane found the freight train that is Gareth Bale coming in on his right. And he got a good shot off Gareth Bale. Castona with the corner now. Gareth Bale trying to win that. Yes, Shearer tries to get the shot off and he cannot do so. Leroy Sane trying to get. Oh, Newcastle out of their own half and trying to get, I mean, trying to get Newcastle into the Bayern Munich box. Castona finds Shearer. Who finds Harry Kane? Oh my word, how is that for clearance from David Alaba? Antonio Rabio there. Dispossesses Gareth Bale. And long lay. Sule gets it away. We're approaching half time here. Marco Varati finds Iron Robin and Bayern Munich. Some scintillating passing here. Look at that from Robert Lewandowski. Castona will make, waste no time with that and send that flying forward. It's 2-1 at half time. Adama Chayore opening the scoring for Robert Lewandowski to equalize. 
and then Gareth Bale puts Newcastle in front again Newcastle have been certainly the more attacking of the two sides five shots on goal to Bayern Munich's one can they hold Bayern Munich off here and create history not only for Diego Maradona but for Newcastle United and for all the players a long way to go between now and that final whistle though Simon Kier, oh Iron Robert will not get to that thank goodness and Newcastle United have just got to settle themselves down here don't let the nerves beat them here's Busquets now sends it forward to Shearer who we'll find Gareth Bale Gareth Bale now find Shearer Castona! Oh my word! It didn't go in! <laughs> what a save from Manuel, from Manuel Neuer! Is Adama Traore again gets, tries to get past Schweinsteiger and again is Adama Traore taking on Schweinsteiger goes down and Schweinsteiger no foul given looked like he took his man down there but the referee says nope it's all good Baratti will find Castona. Castona trying to get the better of the great Franz Beckenbauer. Baratti to Desai now. Long ball forward. Here's Gareth Bale who's come infield. And Lewandowski again. Long ball out and Albon Lafont will pick that one up. And sends it flying out. Adama Traore trying to beat Beckenbauer in the air and gets no change from the German legend here. Long lay to Rabio. Here's Lewandowski. And his pass is intercepted. Here's Gareth Bale again. Taking it to Bayern Munich again. Oh, Gareth Bale. Certainly got a taste for it now, hasn't he? Cutting infield from the flank from that flank and using his pace to keep Bayern Munich on the back foot didn't quite get the shot off that he would have liked there but heading in now close to the final quarter of this game Bayern Munich Ion Robin wins that one yes Busquets will find Adama Traore also coming in field yes Castona to Verratti and Verratti finds Shearer here Shearer! oh my goodness me that was ambitious Newcastle United are certainly asking questions and Alan Shearer there with a really ambitious effort there off his left foot as Bayern Munich push ever forward in an attempt to get a goal trying to draw Newcastle in here here's Leroy Sané, Martinez Corta, Marcel Desai Ooh. <laughs> and uh, Martinez and the goalkeeper Alvon Lafont there just caught a little bit off guard. Iron Robin now will fire it in. Martinez Corta wins the header. Yes, Alan Shearer trying to get back. No goal. And again, Martinez Corta clears <laughs> almost panically. In, is that a word? And Gagliardini comes on for Bayern Munich now. Do I need to make some changes? Yeah, probably do. Castona will make way for Steve McManaman. And I'm going to bring on Jude Bellingham here for Marco Varati. Can Newcastle United see this one through? And win their first Champions League. Yes, Jude Bellingham. Loses out to Iron Robin. Yes, Gagliardini there again. Iron Robin. And Gagliardini gets into the box. Yes, Simon Kier. Lou wins it and then loses out again. And that's going to be another corner for Bayern Munich. Michael Balak just denied. There with the deflection. And Bayern Munich running out of time here. Gareth Bales up there. Goalkeeper will collect. And again, that one comes out. Here's Alan Shearer now. We'll pick that one up. And sends a long ball through to Harry Kane who will try to... Oh, he gets his man. Harry Kane. He's in there. Harry Kane. Oh, he's missed it. Bellingham. Oh, what a save that is. Gareth failed this time. He scores. 
Newcastle United make it 3-1 and Gareth Bale scores twice in the Champions League final. Always been the man for the big occasion. Adama Traore scored twice in the FA Cup final. And now Gareth Bale scores twice in the Champions League final. Those of you with long memories remember that first season when Newcastle won the FA Cup and the Europa League where Alan Shearer scored twice in the FA Cup final and Harry Kane scored twice in the Europa League final. This time it's Adama Traore and Gareth Bale coming to the party. Bale's second goal here surely clinches. Look at that, Harry Kane should have put that away. Manuel Neuer made a great stop and then again from Jude Bellingham. But that drive there from Gareth Bale was just too much venom in it. Harry Kane will be kicking himself there. What a save that was from Ga Manuel Neuer and Jude Bellingham came there with a ferocious drive. Another great save but a third one was asking too much there of Manuel Neuer especially with the force put into that by Gareth Bale and Newcastle United. 3-1 up here against Bayern Munich in the 89th minute. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. I tell you, yes, Shira now. Shira finds Steve McManaman who come flying forward here now. McManaman! Oh, great save there by Manuel Neuer once again. He is, make no mistake, a top, top goalkeeper. But Steve McManaman came off the bench just to add some more attacking impetus there and finding Manuel Neuer a tough nut to crack. But from a Newcastle point of view, the ball is on the right end of the pitch at least. Shear is there! And heads over the bar. Unable to add to his season's tally there. Good corner from Steve McManaman. And Alan Shearer heading over the bar. Newcastle United now, as long as the ball is on this half of the pitch, they will not be too concerned. Longley with a long ball out. Marcel Desai battling away with... Yes, McManaman again now. We'll find Jude Bellingham, who's coming forward now. Jude Bellingham. Oh, and look at that tackle there. I think that'll be the final action of the game. And that's it. Newcastle United have defeated Bayern Munich 3-1 to win their maiden Champions League crown. Two goals from Gareth Bale. One from Adama Traore. And look at the players here absolute celebrations Gareth Bale time for some selfies here Jude Bellingham and Alban Lafont great moment here for Newcastle exactly what Diego Maradona promised four years ago and Newcastle United are crowned champions of Europe. They didn't win the Premier League, came as close as you can possibly get without actually winning it, I suppose. But Newcastle United, degree of success here, never before dreamed of on Tyneside. A tremendous moment for them. Alan Shearer, who's played his part in this season's campaign without a doubt. Look at that, How? what does it mean to Newcastle United? Champions of Europe defeating Bayern Munich. Let's take a look at the highlights of that game. Gareth Bale deservedly getting man of the match there. And he was a danger from the offset here, running at Bayern Munich every chance he got. And Adama Traore is the one that opened the scoring. Look at that, a good pass from Harry Kane. And Manuel Neuer, who proved a decidedly tough nut to crack in Bayern Munich's goal, was beaten there by Adama Traore. Tremendous shot from him. Great pass, turn and pass from uh, Harry Kane. And he certainly has that element to his game, doesn't he, Harry Kane? But as he opened the scoring in the FA Cup, he once again he opened the scoring in the Champions League, Adama Traore. And Robert Lewandowski here, just a few minutes later, with a tremendous equalizer. Great passing move, finished off by the Polish striker. And then Gareth Bale battled away down the wing, got past David Alaba, and let fly with a tremendous drive to beat Manuel Neuer again. 
Gareth Bale coming good for Newcastle on the biggest stage of them all. And Manuel Neuer was beaten there and I tell you what, beating Manuel Neuer is not an easy thing to do. Once again you'll see Gareth Bale here on the attack. S uh, supplied there by Harry Kane and what a drive that was. Look at the save from Manuel Neuer, my word. Must have broken his wrist. And Castona got through here. Put through by Alan Shearer and look at that. What a save that was for Manuel Neuer. Unbelievable. Reflex save on the goal line and then Shearer denied. And here comes that man again. Guess who? Gareth Bale. And that one there. Not one of his better shots but certainly kept the Bayern Munich back line on their toes, didn't he? And to think he almost left Newcastle in the January transfer window. And this was Alan Shearer there. What a hit. But wide of the target. And look at this. The shot from Harry Kane saved. The shot from Jude Bellingham saved. And it fell of all people to Gareth Bale. And what a hit. The ball stayed low. Straight and true. And nearly ripped the net off his rigging. Steve McManaman came on for a good cameo there. And just like the rest of the Newcastle players, he found Manuel Neuer a decidedly tough nut to crack in goal. Another great save from the mini goalkeeper. And this is Alan Shearer, who should have done better with this one. Heads it sailing harmlessly over the crossbar. And so it ends. Newcastle United are the champions of Europe. Finally, finally, finally. All in all, a successful season, guys. When we meet again, Newcastle United will be playing, I think it's the end of season friendly uh, testimonial match for those who will be retiring, I think it is. And we can go through, let's take a look at our players here and what they did for this season. Adama Traore, 16 goals this season, a tremendous season from him. Gareth Bale finished off with 11. castona has got 11 as well and 18 assists by far, the most creative influence in the side. Harry Kane got a de decent 17 goals and 12 assists. He does more than just score goals for Newcastle United. The main goal scorer in chief, Alan Shearer with 41. Steve McManaman scored 16 as well in his first season at Newcastle. Andy Cole got 9. Another 16 from Charlie Austin. So plenty of goals all around from Newcastle. Um, Shearer got 8 goals in 9 in the Champions League. Um, Steve McManaman got 5. Can you believe it? Um, in the Champions Cup, Shearer got 4. In the Premier League, 9 from Harry Kane. 8, 8, 8 from Bale. Chayori Castona 9 from Charlie Austin who only played 16 times in the league scored 9 times though uh, in the FA Cup Adama Chayori got 5 goals there uh, Shera got 4 goals and 4 assists in 4 matches so tremendous return from him Steve McManaman got another 4 in 5 games in the FA Cup as well wow community shield and overall that has been Newcastle United season and I will see you again for the final testimonial match. Thanks for watching guys. It's been tremendous. Thanks for following me for all this time. I am not 100% certain that I will be back for another season. But what a way to sign off. It's been real. Cheers guys. I'm out.